fine. Okay, guess what? <laughs> guess what? One more thing. I love, I love you, you too. I just want to say one thing. Okay, um, okay. one, one thing. last thing. A four-month delay didn't stop the 2024 Emmy Awards from bringing the laughs to television's biggest night. After getting postponed during the actors and writers' strikes, the Emmys finally aired on January 15th and were filled with memorable moments. From Jennifer Coolidge hilariously getting called off the stage to Pedro Pascal calling out Kiernan Culkin and Niecy Nash's impactful acceptance speech, Access Hollywood is breaking down the top moments of the night. I have to put this down. I haven't. I still don't have the strength. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge always knows how to give an unforgettable acceptance speech. The 62-year-old had the whole audience laughing as she accepted the award for Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for her role as Tony McCoy in The White Lotus. During her speech, she made a cheeky reference to her character's season two storyline that got a major reaction from the crowd. I want to thank all the evil gays, you know. But that's when Jennifer started getting called off stage by Emmy's host Anthony Anderson's mom, who, in a fun twist, had the job of rapping stars whose speeches went too long. Baby. Thank you. I know I'm getting wrapped it up. Okay, yes. Okay, baby. And, um, yes, and um. I, I just I love you, baby, but time. Okay, guess what? Guess what? One more thing. I love, I love you too. I just want to say one thing. Okay, um, okay one, one thing. last thing. That wasn't the only funny moment of the night. Pedro Pascal was on hand to present Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, but before he gave out the honor, he took a moment on stage to hilariously take a jab at Kiernan Culkin, who playfully called him out at the Golden Globes just one week earlier. I'd like to take just a second and make this about me. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking about my arm. It's actually my shoulder. And I think tonight is a perfect time to tell everyone that Kieran Cole... But it wasn't all laughs. There were some moving moments too. Nisi Nash gave a powerful speech after winning Best Supporting Actress in a limited or anthology series and got the crowd on their feet after she thanked a very special person, herself. And you know who I want to thank? I want to thank me <laughs> for believing in me and doing what they said I could not do. And I want to say to myself in front of all you beautiful people, go on, girl, with your bad self. You did that. Finally, I accept this award on behalf of every black and brown woman who has gone unheard yet over policed, like Glenda Cleveland, like Sandra Bland, like Breonna Taylor. That wasn't the only memorable moment of the night. Christina Applegate received a standing ovation as she walked to the stage to present Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. The Dead to Me star was visibly emotional over the warm welcome before turning on her signature humor and leaving the audience laughing with several self-deprecating punchlines. Oh my god! You're totally shaming me with disability by standing up. It's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> body not by Ozempic. Okay, let's go. Christina then quickly switched gears and presented the Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy to Ayo Atabiri for her work on The Bear, who hilariously asked Carson Daly to hold her purse as she headed to the stage. It was a big night for The Bear. The FX show took home six awards, including Best Comedy Series, and celebrated their win with a kiss. I just want to thank restaurants as a whole, hospitality as a whole. Mm. The show also took home Best Actor in a Comedy Series for Jeremy Allen White and Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for Eben Moss Backrack. Another big winner, Succession, who won six awards including Best Drama. Sarah Snook took home Best Actress in a Drama Series and her on-screen husband Matthew McFadden took home Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Kieran Culkin also took home Best Actor in a Drama Series and gave a unique shout out to his wife, Jazz, in his speech. I love you so many and so much. And Jazz, I want more. <laughs> you said, you said maybe if I win. 
It was also a big night for Beef, who took home six awards, including Best Limited or Anthology Series. Steven Yun also took home Lead Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series, and Ali Wong took home Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. But the 75th Emmy Awards didn't just honor current shows on television. It also reunited the cast of several hit shows from years past, including Grey's Anatomy. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler also creatively joined forces to give a hilarious Saturday Night Live weekend update before presenting the award for Best Live Variety Special. The only show that's longer than when they air Titanic with commercials on TBS, The Oscars. <laughs> Chris Rock, selective outrage. Uh, Chris could be here tonight, but if he wins, we'll accept on his behalf because we miss getting Emmys. <laughs> Elton John live, farewell from Dodger Stadium. Now, I can't speak for Elton, but he got to be excited about that. <laughs> the concert's so good, it got us all pregnant. The Apple Music Super Bowl 57 halftime show starring Rihanna. Tina and Amy were right. Elton John's win for Live Variety Special made him an EGOT. He now has an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award.